This is a complete walkthrough guide on the fire temple with all the puzzles and all the chests involved to get these five locks off of the door so that you can face the boss. In case you missed the chest by the entrance, starting by the gate, we're gonna head directly away from it. So this is towards the east. And if we take the first room on the left over here, there is a chest that you can loot. This is one that you probably saw when you entered. Now starting at the gate again, this time we're gonna head towards the, the south. And as you run along this route, you'll find an enemy over here and a lava stream on the left. Kill the enemy and on the lava stream here, you can jump on these rocks and jump to the other side. You're gonna be using these exact same rocks and you're gonna be building a bridge of three of these blocks so that you can get across to the other side like this. Or you can use recall, whichever one you feel more comfortable with just getting across here. And we're just gonna jump across and run to one of those mine carts. And we're going to immediately take it and go to the other side. So do this, get in the mine cart, be ready to use um, the, the dude's um, ability here where you're gonna shoot him off. So as you aim at this thing, as you get near, do it like that. Sometimes if you aim too early, it doesn't go far enough. So be careful. You do need to be taking the exact pathway that I'm taking right over here. Turn your fan off and then engage this little button over here to move that thing out of the way. And if you proceed south, you'll see there is an enemy that you can defeat over here. So go ahead and defeat this enemy. You can use ice or just, you know, air any way you want to defeat that enemy. And around the corner here, there will be one of these hydrants. We need the water because we're going to be making some, some more rocks that we're going to be making a build so that we can attack that rock on the other side of the lava there. So put it here, attack this, let the water make a rock, and then we're going to build a, a bridge again, just like we did previously. We're going to build a nice little bridge. It's almost going to act as a ramp for the other dude so we're gonna connect it like this try and make it so that it's, it's flat on the ground on your side and you should be able to use the charge mechanic right over there to break that wall and then you'll see this is the first gong that you're going to interact with and this is going to allow you to get one of the locks off of the gate fantastic we have to find four more now as you leave the room on your left, there will be some hydrants that you can collect. And then we're going to go exit here, go across our bridge that we made. And we're going to immediately look to the left and we're going to be climbing up that little area over there. So go through there. We're going to climb up here. There is a chest for you to collect as well as some enemies. So go quickly do that, collect the chest. And then you're going to jump down the exact same way that you climbed up. And we're going to continue along a new path here. So follow along with me. We're actually going to continue on that railway that we stopped on. So we're going to grab a new minecart here because ours despawned, which is great. So we're going to grab this one here. We're going to rotate it and we're going to put it on the rails. And now you need to pay a lot of attention here because this is a bit tricky. So watch this before you attempt it. We're going to use the charge here to break this rock immediately. Great. Okay, fantastic. Now, what you need to know is, is as soon as we reach the top of the peak over here, we're going to disengage the fan. We're going to turn the fan off. I recommend doing it as soon as you pass that fire that we just went past, but you can see I turned it off here. Have recall ready because you're going to use recall as soon as you get past. You can see there's a chest over there. Use recall on your minecart right now so that you can like reverse the, the positioning or the, the, you know, the speed or direction of your minecart. Land over here, disengage with the recall and then immediately get your ultra hand ready so that you can grab your mine card because it will be really inconvenient if it left without you and then you're going to grab the chest right over here and then if you did this correctly you're just going to get back on the mine card and go the same direction if you didn't you are still able to climb your way to the other end you'll see the direction we're going right now is over here you can climb through here and then paraglide to this location too where there's more minecarts in case you lost it and it already made it here without you as long as you can get to this area get in another minecart activate it and we're going to be shooting that thing ahead of us as soon as we get close enough right here boom take the right so that we can go to the right hand side here there's some enemies be careful with the speed you might end up flying over the minecart once you're here hit the little bell that was in front of you and this will fix the bridge in front like that boom just what you needed. It'll also open up the, the kind of gate on the on the side here. Then you're going to jump back in your minecart, activate it, and it's going to take you to the other side. So just go ahead and follow along this path. There is a chest in this little area over here. So jump out, get the chest, defeat the enemy, and then you're good to go and return to your minecart. And we're going to be going the opposite direction, the direction that we just came from. We're actually going to go stop at that exact same place. So as you come past here, you're actually going to just jump out. So jump out here. That's fine. Don't worry about the minecart. There's another one right over here, which we're going to use. But first, we're going to activate this bell so that the, the rails in front of us change the slope or the angle that they are right now. So it comes down like this so that we can go across successfully. Then you're going to get in the minecart and you're going to go across to the other side just like this. 
As soon as you get to the side, you're gonna run to the right back end hydrant over here and you're gonna activate the water and you're gonna make a rock in the in the lava so that you can either make a bridge if you wanna make a bridge or we're gonna use recall. I'm actually gonna use recall because I don't wanna build a, a long ass bridge. We're just gonna place it here in the middle where you can reach, put it that side and then you're gonna let it basically just float all the way towards you. And once it's close enough, use recall on it and jump on it so that you can basically ride it all the way back just like this. So as it goes back there, as soon as you get to that side, you're just going to jump across don't worry about getting back there is a nice easy way to get back once you're here use the dude's ability to break this thing over here this water that makes those platforms don't worry we're actually not even going to use that to go back there is a gong and an enemy in this room here defeat the enemy use the gong boom that is the second lockdown only three more to go now when you're leaving head towards the left over here we're actually going to use ascend and ascend to this platform right above us over here ascend like this right up here there is a chest so go ahead and collect that on the opposite end there are some devices that you can pick up so go ahead and grab those as well then you're going to paraglide over the lava pool that you just you know used recall over earlier so just get here you're going to go to the minecart track on the left right over here we're going to hit that little button there boom just like that to raise the track so that it goes to the top one just like this and then you're going to grab your minecart or a minecart that is around here just grab it there and we're going to attach it here jump in activate it and we're going to go up to the section right over here there is an enemy to fight at the back of there so go fight him there's also a chest and a bunch of devices that you can pick up along the way so make sure you go pick up and loot everything that you can in this little area before we proceed now we are going to grab a rocket from the top shelf right over there there is a rocket so go ahead and grab the rocket just like this we're going to attach it to a minecart on the right hand side over here it doesn't matter which minecart you're going to use just attach it to the back of one and then use that minecart and you're going to put it on the track at the back just like this get in activate the rocket it will take you along this pathway here up here and this is where we need to be defeat the enemy you're going to grab this thing here by the rock this like like wooden bridge thing and then put it down like that you're making a ramp again using the charge dude's ability breaking that some devices will be dropped on the ground you can loot those once you're done with that you're going to fix the bridge that is directly in front of you grab the end piece there attach it like this and now we're going to run across and behind this wall in front of us there is a chest trapped under a bunch of different stuff here go ahead and grab the chest so that you can proceed now Go back to that bridge that we just fixed, this one over here. We're gonna use this one as a ramp to break those rocks at the top there, just over there. So use this guy's ability when he gets near you, activate it, charge, and boom, it will go right at the wall and he'll hit, he'll hit that. A block will fall from the sky. You can climb on this block and we're gonna use recall on this block so that we can go up to the direction that it came from. So just like this, jump out here. There is a gong. This is the third gong that we can activate. Go ahead and activate it. We have two more to do. Now from this location, you're gonna head out here to the east and you'll see there's like a broken rail over here. We're actually going to jump off from this direction. So jump off here and right over here. You'll see there is two minecarts with like two hooks. You're going to actually detach one of the hooks and you're gonna put it on the minecart like this and it's gonna be now a hanging minecart. Grab a fan as well. I should have put it on that minecart instead. Didn't notice it. And then put the fan behind this one, making this exact contraption. Hang it on like this. Climb on. And when you're ready, just activate the fan so that you can go up this little slope over here, just like this, so that you can get to this new area right over here. Cool. Fantastic. There is a chest on the left as you land over here. So go ahead, grab the chest, and let's move. From the chest, you're gonna head this direction over here. You're gonna jump off. We're gonna actually paraglide off the edge here. There is a little area that we're gonna land on right over here. Well, little area, it's kind of like a big area. And as soon as you fly in, you're gonna to fly to the furthest track over here. This one right over here. And we're going to immediately get in it and we're gonna activate it and it's gonna take us to the other side. So just go along with this route here. Once you get here, you will have to swap your cart onto the other track, jump in, do it again, just swap it here to get to this area. In this area, you need to use the boulder dude to break this rock thing here as usual. So break that, it activates the beacon there. Don't worry about it. It will activate just because of you using the thing. You are going to shoot one of those things at the back right there. So right over there, hit it with the arrow. It activates once, it basically fixes the bridge in front of you. Now you're gonna take the minecart and you're going to put it like this and you're gonna take it across the flat bridge to that other side there. So just go ahead there and you'll see there is a chest at the back right of this location. So jump out here, 
grab the chest quickly. Once you've got the chest, we're actually going to go back to the other side again. So just fix your minecart, rotate it, blah, 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 blah. Do all the things. <laughs> jump in, activate it, let it take you back to that main side again. You have to jump out on this main thing or stop your minecart. There is two here, so it's fine. I'm going to try stop mine, grab it like this, just to pause it. And then aiming at those things again, you're going to shoot the one on the left this time. So instead of on the right, you're going to shoot the one on the left, just like this, boom. It's going to raise the bridge right in front of you, so like that, so that we can go up there and along the spiral. So grab your minecart, put it on the track facing the exact same direction that we went, activate it this time, and we're going to go up there and we're going to go up the spiral. So just follow along with it here. It's You don't really do much crazy stuff here. Just, just go along with it. Nice and easy, just like this. Once you're at the top, there's a chest directly in front of you. Defeat the enemy, grab the chest, and we are good to go into the next area. So now we're gonna go to the other minecart that's on the other side of this different area here. You can see it's already loaded for you. All you have to do is jump in it and activate it. Have your recall ready though. Recall is gonna be needed because there's an enemy minecart coming down the opposite direction. So as soon as you get up here, you'll see his cart comes down. Just use recall on him so he goes backwards and you can jump out here, fight him, defeat him, and we're gonna proceed along the pathway. There's only one way that you can go here. Just run along this. Once you get to the bridge here, we're just gonna go beneath it. We're gonna go under it over here. So there is a ground piece like over here, just land there. And what you're gonna do is activate this button first to open up the boom gate, just like this. So it opens up that gate. And what you're gonna do is jump in the minecart and you're gonna ride it down to the bottom there, just like this. And you'll see, you can actually break that rock from the minecart, I just noticed in the editing. But what we're actually doing here is using the dude's boulder ability, using this like ramp that's already here to destroy that. It's gonna make water, which is going to make another like rock piece in the ground there. And you're gonna make a ramp. So nice right angled ramp like this just make this exact contraption like this here you might have to figure out the placements to to see where you're angling correctly for me it was like right about here or you can do it like directly in front of the lava and then you just have to make sure that the dude is able to hit the gong and that is the fourth gong that means there is one gong left now we are going to use this contraption here and we immediately go behind us here we're going to place it on like this little ramp over here because we're going to hit that rock up that area over there so just try get it when you have the like red bubbles in front it means it can go and let it just hit like that we're going to go through that area now and in order to get to that area we need to take our minecart back up the the railway that we just came from so get in your minecart over here there are extra minecarts in this area in case something happened to yours or you died or you fell or something so don't worry about that once you're up here you're going to use ascend to get back up onto that platform that you were just on it's going to be like one of these over here on the further end, and we're going to get up there and we're going to run along the bridge just like this, I'm gonna slow it down for you so you can see where I'm going. Now the first opening where this railing is gone, you're gonna jump down because right beneath it is the area that you need to go. And if you go to the back left of this new room, you need to ascend and go up here. Now ascending up here, there is a chest right where you're ascending right now. So come up here, grab this chest, just like this, grab the chest. Once you have it, we're gonna jump down the hole, but use your glider because not on the floor below us, on the floor below that, the broken one there by that window, you'll see there is another chest. So go ahead, collect this as well. Once you've got that, jump down to the very bottom. There is the final gong, but there's also a chest in this room as well. So go ahead and collect this chest. And then when you've got the chest, activate the gong just like normal. And this will take down the fifth and final lock and allow you to be ready to take on the boss. You just have to hit this thing here to get out the area. And from this point, I'm going to start talking about spoilers. So we're going to quickly run to the boss chamber room here. I'm going to give you some time to leave the video in case you want to fight the boss without any spoilers. But this is a warning. If you don't, if you want to take the boss on without knowing what happens, leave the video right now and go fight the boss. If you do want some tips on how to fight the boss or how to engage the boss if something's going wrong, in case you don't know how to start the fight, you just have to use the charge dude and just aim him at one of the walls. He will literally roll all the way up to the ceiling and hit the thing in the middle. That is a tactic you're gonna be using again throughout the fight. Now, during this fight, the boss will have four legs. You will have to take down at least two of the legs using that dude's uh, rolling ability, just like this. And once you take down two of the legs, the boss will fall down like a crab and land on the ground. You just have to run climb up and attack the eye. And this is how you're gonna get your damage in. There is another phase of this fight where the boss is on the roof. Now to do this, you just have to use the charge dude, roll him up the roof, and then it should hit one of the legs like that. If it hits one of the legs, it will make the boss fall down, land like this and expose its eye that you can then attack again. And you just repeat this process until you win. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching this video.